Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today is June 11th. Yesterday was a great day. My daughter graduated from high school and I thought we were having a get together with family, but my daughter invited quite a few people, which was great, but I ended up, uh, you know, running around and serving everyone. I grilled for the first time yesterday. I made a few mistakes, but at the end of the day, everyone said it was delicious. And so um, I was so exhausted when everyone left that I didn't clean my kitchen. I didn't clean up. I, did, I turned the grill off. I didn't clean it. I didn't clean the kitchen. The downstairs was a mess. And if you know me, I hate waking up to a dirty kitchen, but I was just wiped out. And so this morning I got up, I got everything uh, cleaned up and I am getting ready to start my work day. But I decided that today, um, because it's watering day that I would take you along with me as I do my plant care. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that initially water day used to be on Fridays <laughs> then it kind of switched to Saturday, then it switched to Sunday, then it switched to Monday, and now here we are on a Tuesday. And it's because I've been having so many things going on, I keep pushing it back. I do do, um, you know, watering here or there. Uh, I did a, few, a little bit of watering on Saturday because there were some plants that just was not going to make it until today. But you know what, guys? I thought about it. This may not be a bad thing because I'm going um, on vacation um, in July and I leave on a Thursday. And so I'm thinking maybe I should try to, you know, get my watering day to Thursday so that I can, you know, give all of my plants a good drink um, and they will, that'll keep them even longer while I'm gone versus watering them on a weekend and then leaving on that Thursday right before I water the, you know, should water them again. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So today's Tuesday. I think next week I'm going to try to see if I can go to Wednesday for most of my plants. And then by July, I'll be on that every Thursday schedule, which will work better for my plants. But like I said, this is a work day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on and off. And when I take my little 10 or 15 minute breaks here or there, I'm going to start watering my plants. And we're going to talk about some of the plants that are doing good and some that maybe are not doing so good. So you guys, it's going to be a good day. Remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm going to start watering in my Mills Bowl Tall. Um, as you, if, if you remember, there were two uh, pothos up here. I actually moved them. Um, one is in my office on the new um, plant, what do I call it? Um, plant shelf plant bookcase um, the bookcase that I converted for plants put it that way one is on top of that and then the other one I put on my banister um, on the top where it is cascading down um, to the you know bottom level well obviously it's not as long but eventually I, and I won't let it get that long I'll let it get to a, a certain length and then I'll cut it but that's where it is so there's no plants right now up here. I am going to replace the plants up here. I don't know what I'm going to get, but obviously I want something um, that will hang down on either side of this cabinet. So 
I'm going to start watering. And if there's anything interesting or any plant that's doing exceptionally well or exceptionally worse or anything I want to share with you, I will uh, do so. So you guys, the first plant that I want to show you uh, as I water this Mills Boltal is my beautiful Peperonia labella. Uh, she, look at this, this is a good angle. You can see how nice and full she is on the top and how she is just trailing down. Um, this plant is really, everything in my cabinet has been um, drying out quite a bit. So one thing I did was the fans that I have in there, I think I had them on medium. I've turned them down to um, at low. And you know what? I've never repotted her. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to repot her um, into some of my soil mixture because this soil is just getting dry so quick. And you can tell that I haven't watered her because here is um, her initial tag. And I've had her for, oh my God, a very long time. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and repot her now. Okay guys, so this is what I, um, not transplanted but this is the uh this is what i up potted her in it that's the word i'm trying to say i don't really like these i usually just use these as stands to lift up my plants um and have them on different levels in the cabinet um because of the slots it they're dry, they dry out really quickly but i don't have um i'm looking i don't have any other option to well maybe i do well hold on one minute i'm looking at another pot i may have something better for her after all okay guys so um it's not a cute uh pot but nevertheless it's a perfect size i'm trying to get it out so it's just an old nursery pot and i just put it in um, without those slits and I just put this as a decorated pot over it. Um, so now, hopefully, this plant won't dry out as much as it has been doing um, because I need to get my plants ready um, for my trip in July. So this is how she's looking. Um, nice and watered now. And I'm going to place her back on her throne. She's really getting big, and I'm not quite sure how long I'm gonna be able to actually keep her um, in this cabinet. Because I have to really place her in such a way that she doesn't get all tangled with the other plants that are in here. So, I'm trying here. Let's see if I can. And she's growing weird too. Like she's growing toward. I wouldn't. I don't know why she's growing toward the light that way. Uh, because there's plenty of light in here. At least I think so. Okay. I think that's the way I'm gonna put her. long shoot. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, guys, her days is numbered in this cabinet because she is actually uh, getting really, really tall in her width or her, um, yeah, her width span is getting wider. So I may have to take her out after another couple of months. But right now, I think I have her in a way that she should be happy okay i'm gonna go back to water and I check in with you guys uh whenever i see something else i want to show you so guys i want to show you one other plant off of the uh first shelf of my mills bow tall i don't know if i've ever showed you this plant this is my piper or nortium Let's see if you can see that hopefully it's focusing um and she's just a baby but look at the beautiful leaves green and pink i just thought her leaves were so beautiful and i've had her for i don't know maybe a month two weeks three weeks um, and look, she's got a new leaf. This new, this leaf unfurled since I purchased her. And then she has another one coming out right there. So yeah, this is my Piper. She is gorgeous. And I just wanted to show you her before I go to the next shelf. Okay, guys, I don't know if I've ever showed you this plant, um, this Hoya. It's one of my newest Hoyas. So let me, if I haven't, I don't believe I have, let me introduce you to my Hoya Matilda. She's dripping. Let me put her back in her um, little saucer. But this is my Hoya Matilda. Um, and she's getting some new leaves right there. And I'm pretty sure that everyone that watches my channel knows this, but in case there's someone new that is a new plant mom or plant dad for that matter, do not cut off these shoots. I call them little shoots or branches or stems or whatever you want to call them because Hoyas, they grow this first and then they uh, leaf, the leaves grow after the stems. So don't ever cut those off. But yeah, this is my Hoya Matilda. Um, and she hangs out here on my um, second shelf. I also, I, I think I showed you my Hoya Sunrise. Uh, she's lost a leaf there. Gotta be careful that I'm not overwatering her. Yeah, she doesn't need any water. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna water her this time. But this is my Hoya Sunrise. I do remember showing you her, showing you guys this particular plant. And she's doing well. I do have a tendency to overwater plants. And so I'm just looking at her and I see a little, I think what I, is a little bit of sign of overwatering. That was really um, not a healthy looking few leaves. Everything else feels nice and firm. I don't see any pests. When I water, I also check for pests. So yeah, that's my Hoya Sunrise. Check back in with you guys in a little while.
So guys, the last plant I want to show you before I finish watering my Mills Bowl tall cabinet is, do you remember when I purchased a couple of plants on my, um, from, it was either Facebook marker, Facebook market or offer up, but I believe it was Facebook market. Um, and the video was entitled, I purchased my first plants online, something like that. And one of them was this philodendron, uh, splendid. It, it was, um, if I can find a picture of it, I will insert it. Um, but it came with just one leaf, this leaf right here, and it was in water. And so I left it and it did, it did already have some roots. Um, but I left it in water for quite a while and then it started shooting out another, uh, branch for lack of a better term. And it only had like this one. So then I was like, oh, I better, you know, I better pot it. I was a little afraid to pot it because I've said before on my channel, I can propagate okay in water, but if I ever try to transfer them from water into substrate, a lot of times, I would say 80% of the time they don't survive unless it's like a spider plant. But I'm happy to say um, that she's doing well. Now she has these leaves. Um, she's been in soil for a while now. And the first leaf, the, the leaf that I, um, the initial leaf that she came with is still going strong, as you can see, you know? So I think it's a sign that she has acclimated to not only my home, but being transferred from water to soil. And I'm hoping that she'll continue to size up. And yeah, and I will have a mature plant one day. But yeah, but this is how she looks uh, so far. Philodendron Splendid. Okay, guys, I just watered. Let me show you this section over here. And that Monastera that I got just a couple weeks ago is doing really well. I'm going to insert um, a picture or some footage of it. Uh, so that you can see it uh, closer up. But yeah, it's doing very well. And so now I am going to water uh, this area here. Can you see that? Bring it down. Um, yeah, this area here. And I do have something that I want to show you if I can manage to pick her up. All right, you guys, I want to show you her before I water her, but from the way she feels, I won't be watering her anyway. Um, this is my newest plant, one of my newest plant babies. I got this beautiful pink princess from Home Depot, you guys. And the, it's called the Collector Series. And she came in this size and look at this leaf here absolutely gorgeous and so is this one it's a lighter paint you might not be able to see in the camera but it is really pretty um i had a paint princess before and she didn't do well and i believe it was because of where i had her but i've learned more now about uh philodendrons and Humidity and all those other things when it comes to this type of philodendron anyway, but isn't she gorgeous? So I just want to show you that show you her Put her back And my Monstera tie is still doing well. I showed you her, I think, last week. Um, she's still doing really good. And so, yeah, I'm going to water this section and then we'll move over to my Mills Bowl Y.
So next, you guys, I'm going to water this. I call it my plant wall over here. And then lastly, in my plant room, I will be uh, checking my plants in my mills worldwide to see if they need water as well. I'm in my Mills Worldwide cabinet, as you can see. And there's two plants that I wanted to sh show you in here. Um, the first, is that a, what's up with that leaf? Um, I don't know. But the first one is this begonia. Um, she is just getting so big. I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to be in the cabinet. And um, I just love the way her leaves look. To me, they look like, I don't know, little stars. But she is beautiful. I bottom water her. So I just put the water in this little glass jar that I got, I think, from a friend gave me a bunch of these and I use them as little drip plant, drip pans, glass drip pans that is for my plants. And then I let her soak up as much water as she wants. And then I will um, come back and touch the top of her. And if she feels moist, I will discard the rest of the water. But yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. And she sits, I don't know if you can see that, but she sits right here. She's getting a little top heavy too. Um, and then I've been also loving this Pelea. She is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look how nice and shimmery and green her leaves are. She is really thirsty. I have um, repotted her several times thinking it was the saw, but I just think she's a very thirsty plant. Because I watered her, although I'm off on my water, I, watering, I watered her um, a couple of days ago because I knew she couldn't wait. And she's dry again. So, but she's so pretty. I have to keep her health, happy and healthy. So yeah, just let some of that water drip out. If you're wondering what I'm using, I don't know if I can show you. Let me see. Uh, let's see if I can get this to come down. So yeah, so this is my bucket and this is a sp spaghetti strainer that obviously I don't use for spaghetti anymore. But um, and this is how I water my plants. I have this tr uh, little tray underneath it because this bucket has a hole in it. I did I did get it from the dollar store, so you know, it is what it is. And I realized that, so I just put that on, on underneath it so that it um, would not get on my carpet. But yeah, that's what I'm using to water my plants. Okay, so. There you go. Oops, this is about to fall. Okay. So yeah, but my Pelea, she's absolutely gorgeous and she's now watered and she hangs out over here by the begonia. I don't know if you can see it, but those two plants take up, let me see if I can get you a little closer. Those two plants take up that entire shelf. Um, it's late in the evening, so my cabinet lights are off so it may be a little harder to see the plants in here so let me um turn you around so there you go guys so that's where the begonia sits in the palea and then i have my variegated string of hearts and another begonia there there's my fern and i've turned the bottom shelf into mostly begonias 
um, other than my um, Florida Ghost back there that I showed you last week that's doing still doing really well and my um, pepperoni again um, but everything else on this bottom shelf here is begonias and they are still doing well so guys I wanted to share with you my kitchen window seal as you can see if you watch any of my other videos I've changed out the plants in here um, so now we have my I believe that's my global green pothos I'm pretty sure that's my global green pothos and um, also my chameleon ZZ my chameleon ZZ has always um, been in this um, window seal but I did just switch out some plants and put my global green here and it really makes me happy when i'm washing my dishes to see these two beautiful plants that are just really thriving and doing very well all right you guys there was nothing really to update you on in regards to my plant wall and as you can see all but that one pothos is not hanging from my curtain rod right now because they're here. I just watered them, um, letting them hang out here um, until I, you know, determine whether they have had enough water. And it also, I believe, um, stops them from being so heavy. Um, I don't put them right back up uh, after I water them. And there is, I don't know if you can see, let me turn on the light and you probably can. Okay, so if you look at this curtain rod, there's actually two rods. Let's see, there you go. All right, you guys, I accidentally stopped filming, but there are two rods here. And so there's a total of only four plants on these rods. There's two on the front and two on the back. The other plant goes right here in this corner, and then the other plant goes, I don't think you can see there. See that, let me get over there. The other plant goes right there on that particular um, plant hook. So yeah, I'm very careful not to, you know, put too much um, weight on these rods. And then we have my um hoyas right here they didn't need watering today so they're hanging out and then i have a few propagations also here on the windowsill on either side the last thing i wanted to show you you guys is my new plant book um cabinet i mean plant cabinet book cabinet i'm tired my new plant cabinet i have a video out of how i repurposed a old piece of furniture that was in my garage um, and turned it into this plant cabinet it was a it was that you know wooden brown color i didn't like it it didn't match um anything in my office because that's where we're at now in my office but i wanted to show you the two plants that I have on top. I do have some lights coming for the cabinet tomorrow. Um, so right now I haven't put, I've not put any plants inside the cabinet, but I have my Hawaiian pothos and I, I still can't believe how big this plant is. Look at this particular leaf right here, you guys. It is so, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but um, even when I spread my hands out, look at the size of that leaf. Crazy. So yeah, and I got this plant from Walmart. And like I said in another video, they, had a, they have a lot of these pothos, but this one was just like on steroids or something. And the same price as all of the other ones. So I, Bring, I had to bring her home and her variegation, the variegation on her leaves. Oh my goodness. And she's just quite happy in here. And then I have, I think this is called, I want to say this is a flaming something. 
pulled those. But I will put the name on the screen. This this particular pull of those used to be um, on top of my Mills Bowl, ta uh, Mills Bowl tall in my plant room, but I didn't like it up there because I could not um, appreciate how beautiful it is because it was so high up. So I moved her in here and she is now rooming with her, um, with this new pothos. And I think they look really good. Let me see if I can back up and really show you how pretty they look. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I have finished watering everything here in my plant room. I finally, you guys, been able to get the humidity right in here. Look, look right here, 72. Um, so, and the plants are responding. They are loving it in here. Um, and this palm here that was gifted to me um, is doing quite well. I was really concerned because I used to have her right here by this window, but I, you know, rearranged my furniture and I really just didn't like her over there. And so I put her over here. She has her own uh, set of grow lights um, that come on during the day and turn off during the evening. And um, she seems to be happy. She's been um, in here in this position, not that long, maybe a week. So I'm, I'm watching her very carefully to see if I may have to move her to another location, but uh, so far, so good. So yeah, you guys, um, look at this cabinet, um, not this cabinet, this shelf right here, completely empty. I Like I said, I put, took a lot of my plants and put them in my plant room. And so I'm not going to fill it up with plants, but I am going to, you know, get some decorations and put a few plants on it. And I would love to have two plants on top of each of these um, shelves um, that would hang, that would trail down. And on this shelf, I just have um, my, um, what do you call it? I'm so tired, degrees. I just have them um, displayed because they used to be on the wall. But now, since I moved these two shelves in here, um, there's no room so i kind of just you know decorated the shelf by putting them there along with my bible and so yeah that's kind of how i have everything going in here um i have to say that although this is my office i very seldom work in here which i usually work in my plant room the only time i really work in my office is when i actually have a zoom hearing so I have to be you know on camera looking all official so then I come <laughs> in my office but other than that I like to hang out in my plant room and and do my work from there but yeah you guys so that is going to be the end of today's video Okay guys, it is almost 10 p.m. Obviously I have been I have not been watering this entire time, but I was working and I had other stuff to do, but I finally finished watering all my plants. If I did it from uh, start to finish, it would be maybe an hour, hour and a half. But you know, like I said, I was doing it here and there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and like I always say, until next time you guys, be blessed.